Hi, I'm Ian Brooker, down on the Y today, and here are a few tips that should help you catch a few more barbel. Tip one, most people generally use hook links that are 12 to 18 inches long. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer a much longer hook link of two, three foot at least. Um, avoids the use of a back lead, kicks the hook bait out from your main line and avoids barbel spooking off of it. Tip two is touch ledgering. Now a lot of people sit there on their chair with the rod on a rest waiting for the tip to get pulled in. I much prefer sitting there with the rod across your lap holding onto the line. Now this way you're able to spot bites far easier. You'll feel the barbel pick the bait up, especially deadly in the summer when there is a very low and clear and it certainly helps you to get more bites. Tip three is fish just one rod. The only rod I use for all of my barbel fishing is the pound and three quarter specialist barbel. It's a lovely rod, covers all situations. You don't need two rods all the time. Just think it's better to fish one rod well than two rods averagely. Don't be in a rush. Once you get to the river, bait a few swims up, not handfuls and handfuls of bait. All you need is 10, 15 baits at the most, pellets, boilies, or maybe even one bait dropper. And if you bait up three or four swims, it means you can fish them in rotation, 20 minutes, an hour at a time. But the best thing is to, once you bait up, leave the swim to rest. Let the barbel move on to it and start feeding. And lastly, tip five is travel light. You don't need a huge amount of gear, especially if you're only going for a few hours. So just take a bucket with a few baits in, a rod, a net, a chair, and a bag. It means you're more inclined to change swims regularly, Finding fish is better than sitting and waiting to find them. And there you go, it's my five top tips for catching a few barbel. There you go.